you know what is up? It is the simp here, Makai Simpin here, the number one simp for Inata, back here with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to make your game look a lot better and how to see enemies more clearly in Apex Legends. Now, basically, I made a similar video to this a couple of months ago and it's the most successful most viewed video on this channel but the reason why i wanted to make this is because there was a lot more information that i could tell you guys and also my grammar was just terrible and there was a lot of confusion towards the playstation uh people that did not know where to go but yeah i'm gonna just make sure i explain this a lot better than the other video and i'm gonna tell you what to do and tell you the more stuff that i had in mind that i did not tell you in the last video but yeah so inclusion, I'm gonna tell you guys what to do and everything at the end too for more stuff to make your game look better. But yeah, before we start this video, I just wanna say, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate the support going on for the last couple of months of me grinding on Apex Legends. Thank you so much for that. Also turn on the post notification bell, but you guys do not have to, but I really appreciate it if you did. Also, if you guys wanna talk to me, talk to others, join up with me when I live, join my Discord. The Discord link is in the description down below the discord is just fire and i hope you guys will enjoy it if you join it also follow my tiktok i'm almost at 10,000 followers on tiktok and a lot of my videos have been going viral so if you guys want to see that it is makai simpin with two eyes and makai's or you can also go down in this description down below all right so now we're finally done with that enough with that enough with me self advertising let's get started with the video now I'm gonna tell you guys all of it right now and I'm gonna go step by step and I'm gonna tell you more advice in you know conclusion wise. Now what we're gonna do I'm gonna tell you guys colorblind settings then FOV sliding with the brightness then also I'm gonna show you guys off camera or whatever my camera phone on how to make your colorblind sharpness whatever on your monitor or TV once we do that and then I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys some advice on how to even make your game look even way much better on controller and console all right so basically this is going to be a two-part thing for the colorblind settings because that's what we're on right now and i'm going to explain to you guys which one's the best or in which ones to use and you know if you want really want to have detail make the game look better or you want to see enemies easier now the first thing i have it on is this one right here i do not know how to pronounce it but this is basically making the game make you see enemies easier because as you can see the only real advantage that i like from this is the optic color and also the dizzy dread when you like look in people that's in the ring or whatever also it works with bloodhound too i'm gonna show you that so let's just get a quick r99 with the digi threat this is how it looks like when you look at enemies with it enemies are blue light color blue and it just look way better especially from far away instead of it just being red and you know it's just blending in with the you know terrain buildings or whatever because it's red red is a dark color now this is just basically if you want to see your enemies clearly and not making your game better i'm gonna show you how it looks like on bloodhound let's just switch right there and let me just go up here to the thing so i can show you guys how the ultimate look like it's basically the same thing as the daisy jet all right so now that i got his ultimate right here this is how it looks like in his ultimate Basically, same thing as the digi thread. Everything is light blue. The enemies are light blue, and then also the optics is gonna look the same. Now, this is a way better option if you're a Bloodhound main. I suggest you having this on this colorblind mode settings because you can see enemies a lot better. So please, I suggest you have this on this setting if you're a Bloodhound main, or it doesn't even have to be a Bloodhound main because the digi thread also comes in clutch when you have it on this option. So now for the next colorblind settings for the game to look better is tritinopia or just leaving it on regular tritinopia is basically just makes the colors look more vibrant and it looks colorful and everything this is how it looks like if you have it on the original one everything just looks like you know that doesn't even look red it's orange this purple is too dark the blue is dark everything's just dark and not vibrant at all but i really like tritinopia if i really just want to enjoy the game and how it looks and everything just looks way better also the optic has changed to the color optic you can see how this is yellow and you could also aim better to the enemies too instead of it being red on regular because you know red is a dark color and it camouflages on everything so yeah that's why i suggest you have it on tritinopia if you want to have your optic change and everything because it just looks way better like that and all the colors look vibrant as well I'm gonna show you a before and after too, just straight ahead. This is how it looks like on off. This is how the optic look like on red. You can see how that's really hard to see trying to aim with that. 
And then this, this is how it looks like on Tritinope. You can see there's a major difference and it looks way better than how it is if you have it on off. Now, this is another thing that I want to say. If you are colorblind, please do not change these settings at all unless you know which one to use for your eyes. I also had a lot of complaints of people saying, what if I'm colorblind? Just do not touch it. Just figure out which one is best for your eyes. You know, I'm not a doctor or whatever. I'm not an eye doctor, so I do not know what to do for that but yeah if you're colorblind and you know the colors are mixed up don't change it just make sure you know which one to use first and then yeah that's when you could change the colorblind settings or whatever do is make your field of view to between 96 and 110 i have it on 108 because it's perfect for me and me only but yeah i prefer you guys to have it between 96 and 110 and the reason why is because basically on controller or in console if you have your fov to at least like this it looks like you know you're playing as a pc player but you're really not but yeah it's just that it's because there's a lot of advantage to see the enemies better if you have it like this like look i can see all three enemies right here without even having to look left or right but this is how it looks like if you have it on default which is basically i think it's 70 yeah 70 right here this is how it looks like if you have it on default all you can see is one person now the only advantage i think it has when you have it on default fov it's just better aim because you know it's zoomed in right here but that don't really matter because it's all the same difference if you have your aim controlled and yeah it's just a way better advantage if you can see everything around you from left right up down so yeah i highly suggest of you having your fov at 108 brightness settings is also right here because it's not too bright not too dark you can, you can see people hiding in the shadows you can see people everywhere just because of this brightness setting right here and now for the last thing is sprint view shape just basically turn out to minimal instead of normal because that's also makes your sprinting you know don't look all weird and makes the game a lot better if you have it on minimal not default all right, so now for the next part is basically you're gonna have to get off of this game go to home now i'm gonna make sure i explain this in the perfect way most perfect way for the playstation players out there because i don't know why you guys are so confused but this is just really easy so basically you're gonna have to go to your settings if you do not know where your settings is that's uh, i guess just search up google and say where it's settings at but yeah you just gotta have to go to settings right here then once you go to settings go to the general now this is really easy because you're gonna find general everywhere you know it's just pretty basic stuff all right so now once you go to general now you gotta have to make sure you go to tv and display options which is right here make sure for the xbox players and also the playstation players it sometimes be stuck at 720 and you not might not have never noticed and that's why you think that your game looks terrible so make sure that your resolution is 1080p not 720 also for the other people that has like you know the higher xboxes so the series x xbox one x playstation 5 whatever that's like 4k if your monitor and tv is 4k and you know has the right hertz and everything and you know you might have the option to put it on 4k go ahead and put it on 4k but if you're like me and only have the original xbox just leave it at 1080p also once you're done with 1080p you gotta go to video fidelity and overscan make sure you go over there make sure that your override is hdmi now i had a tons of people tell me that their whole game just looked terrible when they put it on hdmi and that's fine only people that have certain TVs and monitors can have it on this option. If you don't, if your TV and monitor, your game looks blurry when you put it on this option, then just stick it on auto detect for Xbox. And then once you do all that, that's pretty much it for the general TV and display options. Just make sure that your resolution is at 1080p. And then when you go to overscan, make sure that your override is HDMI. And if your game looks blurry when it's HDMI, make sure it's just on auto detect. All right, you guys, so right now I'm on my iPhone right now, and I'm going to show you guys where to go when you're playing on your monitor and or TV or whatever. It's basically the same thing. So if you're playing on your monitor, you don't have a remote, obviously, so you're going to have to press whatever buttons that you see on your monitor. My monitor is an Acer. It is a 1080p monitor. It's also 144 hertz, and it's also it was really cheap. I forgot how much it was but if you guys want to know i'll put it in the comments down below but yeah that's my monitor right here my buttons right here so when you go to the button just press the buttons to bring the options you'll see this pop up so you know brightness settings right here whatever basically all same thing contrast whatever but the main thing that you're gonna have to go to let me try to find the main button right here there you go this is the one right here Try to find something like this, and then you're gonna have to go to color, picture, and that's the main thing. Now, these are my settings right here if you guys wanna copy it down. 
all monitors and TVs are kind of different. So you just basically find whatever looks the best for you. That's what it looks like for me right here. But yeah, basically just mess with these settings. You can even look up your monitor or TV that you have and just search up the best gaming, you know, visual settings for uh, Acer or um, Samsung, whatever that you play on. That's basically it. So if you guys never knew that you have options like this, there you go, I'll tell you guys something new. And then also, if you're playing on a TV and don't have a monitor, here's my remote. Basically, you know, you just press, let me try to focus, I can't focus. Just try to, um, I just messed that whole thing up. But yeah, there's like an option right here, it's menu, uh, really blurry, hold on. Tef technical difficulties. All right, so yeah, here's the best, it's the best way I can do. But yeah, basically it's menu, so you'll see something like this, menu. You click menu, then you'll go to, you know, TV and display options, same th thing. You'll see the, you know, resolution, you'll see the colorblind settings and all that, and it would just make your game ton 10 times better if you have it, you know, if you don't have a remote for your TV. If you don't have a remote for your TV, it's kind of hard to do it because it's not like a monitor where you can just press buttons. You must have a remote for your TV, so just make sure you keep a lookout for that. All right, you guys, so now here we are. We are at the conclusion part, and that's basically me telling you extra stuff on how to make your game look better. Now, I only have one method, and that's just basically having an Elgato. What's an Elgato, you say? Well, that's basically what you're seeing right now, me recording this gameplay and looking a lot 10 times better. Now, what an Elgato do, and I never knew this before, is that there's also more colorblind settings, sharpness settings, and everything in an Elgato when you have a PC connected to the Elgato and your Xbox, PlayStation, or whatever. I'm so glad I actually got this. I never knew this. It just makes the game a lot better when you control these visual settings onto the PC. Now, an Elgato is, uh, between $186 to $200, depending if it's on sale or not. I got mine on sale for $160. Good deal, good steal. But don't buy an, an Elgato just to make your game look better. Only buy it if you want to become a YouTuber or streamer and you know record your gameplays or whatever. That's the only reason why I got this Elgato on PC is just because you know to bring out content to you guys. So that's basically what you gotta do if you want to make your game look better. That's why a whole bunch of people say um how does it look so good it's because of my elgato so if you guys want to you know improve it or whatever get an elgato they just search up elgato hd 60s and you'll see it right there all right you guys so that was basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it we're not going to talk about that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys don't get mad at me like the first video that i ever put out i was kind of still new to youtube i really didn't talk that much but yeah i didn't you know no incorrect grammar nothing like that so i hope this video explained it a lot better than that other video that i put out even though it's my most successful video uh if you guys stay till the end hey thanks for staying till the end i hope you guys subscribe and like the video and follow my socials and join the discord while you're at it but yeah that's basically it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out win perfect